Chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Come on, baby, I know you're excited, but we gotta feed these hens before your daddy get home. There hey, is. family, hey, y'all ready to eat? Wait. Do you see that bow coming? What could this mean? I'm telling you, May, I got a bad feeling about this. I don't know, I don't know what it is. I just got a bad feeling. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by the way where I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again, and there you shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. Deuteronomy 28 and 49. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, and swift as the eagle flyeth, a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. Deuteronomy 28 and 66. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night, and shall have none assurance of thy life. Psalms 83 and 3. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden one. 83 and 4. They have said, Come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may no more be in remembrance. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee, and shall pursue thee, and overtake thee, till thou be destroyed, because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to keep his commandments and his statute which he commanded thee. Verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder, and upon thy seed forever. Deuteronomy 28 and 50. A nation of fierce countenance, which shall not regard the person of old, nor show favor to the young. How happened in it, Israel, that thou art in thine enemy's land, that thou art waxen old in a strange country, that thou art defiled with the dead? Take me, then will I cut Israel out of the land which I have given them, and this house which I have hollowed for my name will I cast out my sight, and Israel shall be a proverb and a byword among all people. You were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because you moved God to wrath, you were delivered unto the enemies. And they have cast lots for my people, and have given a boy for a harlot, and sold a girl for wine, that they might drink. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse, and to be subject to payments, according to all the iniquities of our fathers, which departed from the Lord our God. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Yet if they shall bethink themselves in the land whether they will carry captives and repent and make supplication unto thee in the land of them which carried them captive, saying, We have sinned and have done perversely, we have committed wickedness. Verse 48, And so return unto thee with all their heart and with all their soul in the land of their enemies which led them away captive, and pray unto thee toward their land which thou gavest unto their fathers, the city which thou hast chosen, and the house which I have built for thy name that he may incline our hearts unto him to walk in all his ways and to keep his commandments and his statutes and his judgments which he commanded our fathers.